Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen about single turn design pattern. Today we are going to discuss what is the difference between single turn and statics. When we should use single turn and when we should use static class. First, uh, we will see that what is the difference between single turn and static. First, single turn. is a pattern and not a keyboard. Singleton is a design pattern. It's a not a keyword, but a static is the keyword. First difference is that once uh, you are going to create a single term no need to write a singleton because singleton is a not a keyword. You can write anything, whatever you want. But once you are going to create a static class, you have to write that one. Static class. You have to use that uh, static keyword to make the static. There is one difference. Second difference is that a single term can implement interfaces inherit from other classes and allow inheritance while a static class cannot be cannot inherit Their instance in singleton means a singleton can implement interfaces inherit from other class and, and allow inheritance, while a static class is not an inherit their instance member. Just we'll see the example. Thus, we are going to create one interface. Just make the name interface one. I'm going to write method word test interface. This one you can inherit in a single term class like this. You can inherit. But if you are trying to inherit in the static class, you will get error. See, you will get error. You are not allowed to inherit interface or class in that static class. The second difference, just remove that one. Third difference is that a single term can be automatically 
A single turn can be initialized lazily or is synchronously and loaded automatically by .NET framework. While a static class, while a static class is generally initialized when it is first loaded. There is the third difference. The fourth difference is that uh, a single turn class you can pass as a parameter, but uh, a static class you are not allowed to pass as a parameter. Let's see the example. Just like here, you are going to create one method. If you want to try as a parameter, like a single touch, if you will try it as a parameter, it will work. It will work fine. Like this, you will not get any error. But if you will try to pass as a static class, you will get error. Means you are not allowed to pass static class as a parameter. In short, you can say that single means single object across the application lifecycle. So the scope is at application level. The static does not have any object pointer. So the scope is at app domain level. I hope it's clear. Now you can understand the what is the difference between single term and static class. Thanks for watching.